we got some serious hardware in this lineup. Yeah. Pathfinder said we could walk across the channel all the boats out there. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not on a boat. 30 minutes ago, 6,000 British and American ships left ports in England bound for France. This is Normandy, the Allies' next step in liberating Europe. At 0600 hours, General Barton's men are going to hit the beach in small craft with no cover. Their survival depends on you. The Navy cannot supply fire support for the beach landing until a German battery of shore guns has been neutralized. The guns receive firing coordinates from an inland fortifications network. We must cripple enemy communications by destroying this key radar antenna. We must also disable this spotting tower. We take out the enemy's eyes and ears. They got no chance. S2 and S3 predict we'll encounter enemy armor in this operation. To that end, we're dropping M18 bundles near the DZ. Airborne, you are about to play a pivotal role in the downfall of Nazi oppression. Good luck.
I guess the Navy gets credit for that kill, huh? It's an officer. We gotta get to those pillboxes before more men get onto the beaches! We'll move slow and use cover! Take them one at a time! Wait, we're going down there? Into the trenches? Of course we are! We're airborne! <laughs> Colonel Scott Webb, commanding officer. This is the after-action report for Operation Neptune, June 6th, 1944. Drop behind enemy lines at dawn, suffered heavy losses, but took all objectives. After securing the main battery, we pushed toward Utah, cleared all enemy gun positions. Allied forces now moving inland from the beaches. I have no doubt that history will remember the airborne on this day. Your acts of courage will be revered for generations to come.